Hey guys, Etan Sun here from Sun Bros. Today I'm being joined by Greg Lee Gaming, and we're going to be discussing the new hero Lapu Lapu, the, uh, the heroic national hero of the Philippines. So, Greg, what's going on, man? I'm good. He's good. He's been monkey slapping all day. He's good to go. Got ice lolly in his mouth. So let's talk first Lapu Lapu's price. Lapu Lapu is coming out at the price of 32,000 battle points, 599 diamonds, and he'll be 30% off of the diamonds in the first week of his release. Um, I doubt 30, I doubt he'll be 30% off the BP because I've never seen that before. Probably just 30% off diamonds. They've but, crushed um, my dreams, going back to the 32,000 battle points. Uh, yeah, I mean, they got to like release a, a, one every now and then at that high. Yeah, but that's like a month. No battle post, no battle points bonuses that's like a month of playing max battle points every week it's pretty nuts. it's a bit ridiculous when they're releasing a hero like every month all right so i'm going to read you guys the story background of lapu lapu it says the mysterious waters to the south of the land of dawn are dotted with islands big and small here the land is fertile the climate mild life thrives and food is in abundance people live lives of peace and happiness but one day, a group of invaders came upon this peaceful land and disrupted the happy lives of the people. The chief of Makadan Island, Lapu Lapu, refused to become anyone's slave. The enemy has no, oh, this is a quote. The enemy has iron spears, we have brave hearts, he declared. Lapu Lapu took upon his twin blades and led his people into battle, slaying countless invaders. Under his leadership, they won victory in the respect of the enemy, free once again to live life in peace. But this incident of outside invaders made our hero aware of the world beyond the island. And though beset by enemies, he packed his bags and began a journey to learn about the world. That's a interesting uh, cool. Beckham story. Yeah. In, in real life, apparently, he's also on the one centavo coin. And the uh, he's also the seal of the Filipino National Police and Bureau of Fire Protection. This Very guy cool. is the real deal. Yeah, he, um, he really you, murdered. They've changed, him. they've changed the things for the. Um, I'm sure the copyright game. issues and stuff like that, but yeah, um, like the, he was. Ac I think he was actually born in like, is it Mat uh, Matan rather than Macadan? Yeah, I think they had to change names stuff like that. But the point of the, of the story is the moral story is, is that Lapu Lapu was a great chief in the Philippines who murdered a lot of people who tried to hurt his people. So he he's murdered a, hero. a lot of people. I mean, let's call it. I can hear all the is. Filipinos in the background going, "It wasn't murder." I uh, I don't I don't mean murder in a negative way. I mean murder in the best of ways. People came in, tried to kill his his people, and he murdered them for it. And that is what a hero does, right? Oh, legit! He actually did. I'm reading the wiki. Apparently, they set fire to the houses, and he and they instead of being like scared, warriors got infuriated and charged them. There you go, and they murdered them. Yeah, yeah, he did. Two Spaniards were immediately killed, and uh, others wounded. Ah, oh, they fought off the Spaniards. Dirty Spaniards taking the Philippines. Um, well, Lapu Lapu, national hero of the Philippines. He's on the uh, he's on the coins. He's on the the, the the seals and all this cool stuff. Let's talk about his skills. His first skill is Hero's Faith. The passive. Uh, Lapu Lapu receives a layer of bravery blessing every time his skill hits an enemy hero. When it reaches five layers, his next basic attack will cause extra damage. This basic attack won't be a critical hit and generates a shield to absorb some damage for himself. So, um, extra damage on a basic attack and a shield doesn't sound overpowered, doesn't sound underpowered, it sounds kind of even keel. What do you think? It, uh, it's every time he's skill hits an enemy hero so it depends on his skills like how short the cooldowns are and um how often he can spam them and like if it's got multiple attack so if one of his attacks has sort of got like a multiple hit system then five layers is going to be quite quick to hit there again making the extra attack damage quite quick to come through it might actually be pretty strong you'll have to see in game like how often you hit and stuff <clears throat> yeah, we'll figure that out. And obviously, we don't know how much the extra damage is or how big the shield is. Yeah. So that could make a big difference, too. But interesting, passive nonetheless. Ability one, Justice Blade. Uh, so all of the all of the next three abilities are laid out in two fashions. Light Blade State and Heavy Sword State. So if you guys take a look at, um, at his video, you know, or what you're watching in the background now is him 
twirling around with stuff and his weapons and stuff. One of the swords is smaller, one is larger. So apparently he fights with the small one and then fights with the heavy one. And they do different things. Uh, so he, like Kagura, he has two sets of abilities. So I'm going to tell you guys the light blade state, which is the first set of abilities. And I'm going to tell you guys the heavy sword state, which is the second set of abilities. So with the light blade state, with uh, skill one, justice blade, he casts two whirling blades forward, dealing physical damage to enemies hit along the way, out and back, kind of like yeah. Nana. So it's kind of a Nana Three thing. Things. With that, it hits him on the way there and back. If that applies to multiple people, he might be able to proc his passive off hitting, what, yeah. three people in a row? And and on the way back. Well, that's what I mean. Like, three people there, that's three stacks. Three on the way back, that's six. Boom, Proccing stun. five. Yeah, that would be oh. interesting. That could be a big time, you know, change in a 1v3 or 2v3, you know, in, in, in a uh, fight that maybe Lapu Lapu has a big disadvantage in, that that shield and extra damage could really turn the tide, if you will. Um, I mean, imagine with Tig pulling in, and then you hit a five-man blade that'd proc twice, one on the way there, one on the way back, if it's not going into cooldown. I'm sure it has an internal cooldown, of at least... It probably does. Probably. At, least, at least it probably doesn't stack, but... Um, Anyways, the heavy sword state of that ability is cast a giant flying wheel forward, dealing physical damage to enemy enemies hit along the way, and adding a slow effect. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I imagine this is going to do a lot more damage. I imagine the slow is going to be substantial, and it doesn't sound like this one comes backwards, but maybe it goes out a further distance because it's a wheel instead of swords. I actually see his light state as his like assassin state, and his heavy state as his like more CC tanky um, state. Yeah, yeah. Like, so it might not do as much damage, but it might be like heavy CC like, slow. Right. Yeah. So it probably does the same on the way there, but it adds a slow instead of coming back. All right. So next is brave stance skill number two. Um, the light blade state is rapidly whirls dual blades, dealing physical damage to enemies along the way. If this ability hits an enemy hero, then Lapu Lapu's movement speed will increase for a short period of time. Um, so that's pretty cool. I think, obviously, this to me, this reads similar to Bauman spinning, but who knows? Well, I, I, I don't know. Like, it sounds really weird. I, I can't imagine it in my head, like, spinning blades in front of him or... No, because his first ability is that. His first ability casts that's two whirling blades that's forward. Chucking him, that's chucking him. I mean, like just holding him in front of him, spinning. No, oh, maybe. I don't know. Well, we'll find out. But interesting nonetheless. And then the heavy sword state of the second ability is rapidly whirls heavy sword and charges forward, dealing physical damage to enemies along the way. Lapu Lapu's physical and magic defense will increase after casting the ability. So that's one of the reasons why we think that the heavy sword state is a tanky ability because it adds slows. In this case, it adds him. It adds you know more physical and magic defense. But um, that one sounds kind of like Bauman's first ability in which he does a little charge. It says, whirls heavy sword and charges forward. It's like a mix of his first and second. I wonder if the cooldowns are interlinked between the skills or if they're separate like be, the gurus. You know what? If they were separate, then his passive is going to go off all the time. All the effort. Yeah, time. I think it's a bit too strong if they're separate. Like you could charge <clears> in and then all of a sudden you can do another attack I, well skill. I'm excited to see for sure but I'm telling you that I wonder if you just choose the beginning of the game how, co how cool would that be now nah, I think there might be like a stance switch like maybe next to where flicker and stuff goes maybe there's that'd like be next interesting drop. that'd be interesting change um <clears throat> all right with an then, internal call do you know like Elise set of League of Legends yeah yeah, yeah yeah that'd be interesting that'd be the first hero of that kind in this game so that'd be neat uh and then the ultimate is called Chieftain's Rage, and the light blade state is combines dual blades into a heavy sword and swings it forward, dealing physical damage to enemies and stunning them. Afterward, Lapu Lapu will enter rage mode. Okay, so that is something I wonder. I wonder if Lapu Lapu's rage mode is the heavy sword state. Um, that would make a ton of sense, but it makes some sense. It, it just seems boring if it is. Like, he has to, he has to it a rage mode just to do those, yeah, that, uh, that, I, that would be a bit of a letdown, wouldn't it? Like, I love the idea of swapping stances. I think that sounds really cool. Um, and plus, if the link, if the skills are linked, then how could you use like rage mode and then his second part of his ult again? Right. 
Well, so the, here's the second part of the oath, the heavy sword state part of the oath, is um, cast a... F- oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, waves weapon, dealing physical damage to surrounding enemy units, and there's a passive basic attacks da- damage increase in the heavy sword state. That's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons I think. Rate. That's one of the reasons why I think that heavy sword state is rage mode because basic attacks damage increases in the heavy sword state. So it increases as the heavy sword state goes along, which makes me think it's like a timed rage mode. Maybe. Well, we'll see. I hope it's not, but it, it <clears> might be. So that is the breakdown behind Lapu Lapu. Um, Let's real quick. We'll just talk. I, I just think he's going to be a fighter slash tank, kind of like Hilda, but hopefully nothing like Hilda. Um, but I, I mean, it seems his abilities seem cool. He's got some CC, some damage, some tankiness. So I'm really excited um, to see what he does. But I hope you guys enjoyed the content on Lapu Lapu. Remember, he's going to come out at 32,000 BP, be 599 diamonds to start with a 30% off discount for the first week. And, he's, and it looks like the release of this hero and of the patch as a whole is going to be coming out on May 23rd uh, on all formal servers. So that looks like it's about uh, six days from now, maybe uh, five from wherever you are from where when this video is released. But I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the video or to the channel rather. Um, share the video and as always comment below and let us know what you guys think about his abilities what you guys think the light blade state and the heavy sword state is and you know what you guys think he's gonna end up being a fighter a tank bit of both you know like give us your thoughts on lapu lapu we'll have an awesome discussion about it but thanks for watching guys and as always till next time